Filha. <laughs> As usual, we got Pela here because she is part of the channel. <laughs> Me. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Okay. Hi everyone and welcome to this new video. Hi. Today we're talking about 10 things we like about the UK. So let's start. Number one, tea. Tea. Tea is one of the first things that people think of when they think of Britain. Tea is a huge part of British culture. And I feel I'm in the right place as a tea lover. I know it's quite uncommon for an Italian, but I cannot have too much tea. Tea is appropriate in almost any situation. You can use tea to relax, to break the silence in the room, to cheer someone up. And especially having afternoon tea is so special. It is usually served with delicious sandwiches, scones and cakes. It feels like a true luxury, especially if it's served in beautiful china plates and cups. What is not to love about a hot cuppa? Mm. Number two, the British accent. I've always been a fan of British accent. To me, it sounds more appealing than the more common American accent we are used to. And we're not talking about the received pronunciation, which is quite rare to hear in everyday life, but we are referring to all the accents, words and phrases you can find across the country. When we moved from Italy to London, it was uh, quite tough for me, as my colleagues spoke uh, Cockney. But it was so much fun. Answer the dog and bone, <laughs> or happen in pairs, China plate. <laughs> and then number three, the weather. <laughs> no, we're not joking. We, we really like English weather. And it doesn't always rain, as they say. It's more windy or... Uh, overcast than anything else. I think we saw more rain in Switzerland. Oh yeah. Pouring it, rain. It was, yeah. yeah. Very, very rainy. What we like here is that we can enjoy all the four seasons and they have very defined different weather. While in Italy with climate change, basically autumn and spring are disappearing. Of course, the weather can vary a lot in different parts of the UK, but here in England it can be very lovely. We're thinking about those lovely sunny days with clouds, like in the paintings of Constable and Turner. The changes in light conditions are stunning. Yeah, and then overall summers are not too warm and winters not too cold. Yes, you can get heat waves or a few very cold weeks, but on the whole we think it's perfect. Number four. Bank holidays! <laughs> Do we need to say more? <laughs> In addition to your annual leave, you get eight extra days off each year. What's not to like? <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice. Enjoy longer weekends during the year. It really helps. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Number five, literature. I'm an Anglophile at heart, so I might be biased here. I studied Italian, German and English literature, but I truly believe the UK has the best literature. Just think of the most influential authors of all time, like Shakespeare, Wordsworth, Keats, Byron, Austen, <laughs> Dickens, Wolf. <laughs> what about J.K. Rowling? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please leave a comment below and let, let us know. I'm talking about literature, okay? <laughs> Number six. Music! Mm. I'm a music lover and I must say the UK has the most important musicians uh, in the world and the biggest uh, selling artists of the, all the time. Just think of the Beatles or the Rolling Stones. Uh, Led Zeppelin, Queen, Elton John, there are a lot, really a lot. So we are not very into current music trends. <laughs> No. But, but we know that the country continues to produce very famous musicians. And the live music is always available across the UK. Yeah, there are many concerts, events. Yeah, in every town. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Number seven, history. The UK has a fascinating history. Indeed. You can start from the Stone and Bronze Age, passing through Roman Britain, the Anglo-Saxon period, 
Norman England, the Middle Ages, and not to mention modern and contemporary history. All these ages shaped the identity of this nation. Even in the smallest and most remote places, you can usually find a pub, a castle, a church that dates back to the 1600s. Yeah, or even earlier. It's full of fascinating history. Number eight, quaint villages. The UK is full of hidden gems and quaint villages. Some within easy reach of major towns and cities. Mm. Just think of Bibbury in the beautiful Cotswolds or Robin Hood's Bay in Yorkshire. They are so charming and worth a visit. Number nine, we got historic castles and houses. We've read there are about uh, 1,500 in the UK. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a very lot. With so many places to choose from, it can be hard to narrow down your search. Each castle and house has its own unique and rich history. Yeah, and they're all fascinating. We would love to have more time to see more of them. Visiting these well-preserved places is so interesting because you can get a glimpse into the past. Number 10. The countryside. Mm -hmm. What we love uh, about the UK is uh, its countryside with uh, its uh, beautiful rolling hills, open farmlands and uh, picture perfect uh, landscape. It is exceptionally nice looking. It's charming and picturesque. And it's the perfect place for those who like hiking like us. So we hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching again. Yeah, leave a thumb up and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye!